Hey gamers, welcome to Mojo Plays. This is Josh, and today I'll be your guide on exploring the glitchy underbelly of the Assassin's Creed series. It's no secret these games have been plagued with engine issues and bugs for a hot minute, but how many times have those exact problems caused something astounding to happen that completely knocked you out of your chair? AC has famously crafted the perfect excuse to cover any mishap in its gameplay, as every game thus far has been set inside the fictional Animus computing system. It's never a bug, my friends. It's a feature. That said, the criteria for this list will be leaning towards the most humorous, knee-slapping game glitches and the most insane exploits that players have used to cheese the system. Take that, game designers. Although the nature of a glitch is a finicky one, so you may find having a hearty laugh comes at the expense of some extra playtime. For reasons listed above, we'll also be excluding any of the god modes or money cheats. Those always pop up in some fashion, but there are far sillier exploits to explore. Yeehaw! Falling through the world. Starting off strong, you've seen this all before, but I gotta mention those magic sweet spots which can suck a player into the unloaded white void of terror. Usually you'll be previewed to the underside of buildings or objects before desyncing and having to load back to the surface. Other times, you may not be so lucky and find yourself trapped in a cruel limbo of nothingness. Somehow, clipping through the floor never ceases to amaze me. The solid ground is the one place I expect my character to be able to safely exist. Not so. Usually the damage is very minimal to both your current mission and mental state. There's no shortage of hilarious examples online. And if you're looking to escape into the void, the void will find you eventually. Speed climbing. Jumping over to our favorite boy Ezio, Assassin's Creed 2 seems to feature a very rare glitch that increases climbing speed by over double. Now this is what I call pod race, uh, I mean parkouring. This unintended speed boost is a tremendous upgrade and I think Ubisoft is missing out on not doubling down to make this a gameplay option. The goofiness factor is heavily outweighed by how fun it looks to play, although other animations of the game would need to be majorly adjusted. Ezio's movements become nothing short of ridiculous, being able to climb the tallest walls in seconds. His limbs don't seem to behave quite as intended either. Messing with multiple movement options in specific locations seems to be the only way of unlocking this inner power, though little evidence exists on why this happens even in the remastered version. Best of all, the glitch is easily cancelled seemingly by attacking any enemy, so don't expect to bust out moves like the Flash mid-combat. If you're looking for a quick escape, however, gotta go fast. Cutscene clipping and crap. Another staple of the Assassin's Creed experience are the zany bugs you may find in the cutscenes. What the hell was that? You'd think this would be the most polished part of the game, what with uh, trying to establish a tone and tell a story here, glitching out on a side mission. Yeah, I get you. Key story moments, though? I wanted him assigned to some out of the way garrison. The man redefines the term friends in high places. I do want to give the teams behind these games points for allowing your custom outfitted dude to star in the cinematics, but moments such as the hot air balloon ride from Unity would have likely been more touching without Arno wearing some ridiculous get up to their date. Oh yes, big collars and oversized outfits mean characters' faces may pop in and out on occasion. Obviously, the biggest laughs come when major characters in a scene treat the clipping moments as a complete normality. Desmond's back. Glitching into Florence. I know what you're thinking, but Josh from Mojo Plays, also known as Chiptroid here on YouTube, we've already played AC2, we've explored Florence. Well, not in Brotherhood you haven't. Now this is next level meta. You're playing a simulated version of your ancestor who is having a flashback, which you're breaking into with an exploit to explore. Neat. By changing clothes exactly when the memory ends, you'll find yourself loaded in a completely new map to explore, complete with people, paths, bridges, and not a whole lot more. This chunk of Italy is a copy and paste from the previous game, with slightly modified areas for the memory segment, although there's far more here than I would have imagined, including fully usable leaps of faith. Take in the sights and sounds of Ezio's birthplace in his own game. This does beg the question if we were ever meant to explore this area further, and how many new places are just a clothing change away in other installments? Audio b -b bugs The importance of sound is a big one in filmmaking. Sure, you want the thing to look good, but what you hear carries the emotion. So what happens when what you hear is Well, you get a chuckle from me. Across many of the Assassin's Creed games, you may find looping dialogue, out of place sound effects, or no sound at all when you're looking for it. 
These glitches feel far stranger than the ones accomplished by climbing in a specific spot, for instance, as most of the time you feel you haven't done anything out of the ordinary, and all of a sudden Satan's personal orchestra starts up. Golly gosh help you if the audio ever glitches out like this on a music-based puzzle, of which there are few. I can only imagine. Despite never being safe from an error occurring internally, causing these ear displeasers, it's never game breaking, and if you push on through, it'll clear itself up. Stay strong. XP teabagging. Rest in peace, the free experience points glitch from Odyssey. Let us honor your memory by bringing up the fact that disrespecting your foe by teabagging them was a legitimate cheese maneuver to speed through the leveling up process. Many players use this glitch by simply remapping certain buttons and manipulating the recruiting feature, combined with crouching, to farm as much XP as you felt like for virtually zero effort. Yeah, I don't know why either, but here it is. Its beauty is in its simplicity. Even though the devs caught on and covered it up with a patch, those laughs were already had. And I'm sure plenty of highly leveled characters have the twerk glitch to thank for it to this day. Just try to imagine if this exploit worked in other games, especially online. Players would have no mercy. Infinite enemy spawning. An only but a goldie, past Assassin's Creed's have been found to ramp up enemy production in very specific parts of the map. The spawn in rate of these jobbers can get so bad, it's impossible to see what's happening. And is is more importantly, completely hilarious. Man after man appears to yell at you, only to be drowned out by another dude yelling the exact same thing. It gets better the longer you hang out as they can push each other off the roofs and stumble around like lemmings until a potential game crash. Some players report up to a hundred enemies in this single spot. In some cases, they start to appear faster than you can kill them. What fun, I'm telling you. This could be another feature they work into some sort of hacked animus storyline. Though it's difficult to narrow down what causes the clone factory out of one guy, but all accounts involve running to kill a baddie in a special place only to have 10 more pop out of them, including the remaster of AC2. So that's that, you know, it belongs there. Gravity, never heard of it. I don't think you can beat the kingpin of all glitches, flight. Especially when there's not supposed to be flight. Feast your eyes on this. The bonds of physics will shackle them no longer. Only one-upped by actual human flight. In brotherhood and I'm not talking by airplane. Fly home little assassin. I hope. Maybe you're sick of serving gods and want to become one yourself. Look no further than the chariot glitch, capable of soaring over sea and sky like Santa's coming to town, Greece, and he's bringing weapons. For speedrunning, aficionados find a particularly sharp rock to rock launch. Woo! This is the kind of movement option I like in my games. Basically, take the elytra from Minecraft and slap that thing everywhere, because if I can see something, I want to fly to it, even if I was unintended to do so. Taking off into the air in this fashion is the ultimate knee slapper to me, especially when you don't see it coming. Video games help us escape reality, and nothing could be farther than this. So what side are you on? Falling through the floor? Breaking the skybox? What really gets you roaring? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below, and thanks so much for watching! We publish new videos all week long, so consider subscribing if you want more of this. Leap of faith onto the like button if you're craving more Assassin's Creed, and as always, game on!